Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in today's video we're going to be doing this week's Forza Thon guide called Mako Shark where I try and help you guys complete all of this week's Forza Thon challenges as quickly and as easily as possible. But anyway let's get stuck into this week's Forza Thon. Now you want to use the 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray 427 so it will set you back 150,000 credits from the auto show but you can definitely pick it up cheaper in the auction house. Now I have created a tune for it as well called Forzathon EVG and you will definitely need a tune for the first challenge so the share code for this one is 516450223. Now like I said the first challenge here you'll need a tune for and that's because it wants you to earn 15 awesome speed skills. Now to do this I recommend going over to the highway as that's the best place obviously to get all of your speed skills and an awesome speed skill is when you get a speed skill in between 180 and 200 mile an hour. Now it doesn't say anything about the ultimate speed skills i'm sure that if you get them they'll probably count towards it but if we just go on the fact that you only need 15 awesome speed skills all you have to do is just maintain your speed between 180 and 200 mile an hour it's actually quite easy you sort of thread all the sort of thread the throttle at around 190 and speed up when you need to but really easy challenge there shouldn't take too long now the next challenge wants you to earn a total of 125,000 skill score. So this is actually really, really easy again. To do this, I always go over to the Greendale airstrip, which is what I'm gonna show you here. But what I would recommend is after the first challenge, if you still got a skill chain going, keep it going and drive over to the airstrip instead of just sort of spawning over there and, and sort of skipping. Uh, the reason for that is obviously you'll have more skill score to complete the challenge quicker. Now in order to do this you need to get about 25,000 skill score and then multiplied by 5 so it's actually really really easy. Chances are like me you'll get just over 25k. As long as it's got over 25k and you've got a 5 times multiplier you'll get over 125,000 really easily. Now it doesn't say you have to do it in one shot shots you can do it over the course of a couple of days if you want but for the purpose of the video i'm just showing it in one go now the final challenge here is another nice and easy one and it just wants you to earn a total of nine stars from drift zones so the drift zone i picked was the horizon donut at the horizon festival and the reason for this is to get three stars for instance it's a really low score of only thirty thousand points but of course you don't have to get three runs of three stars it really doesn't matter you've just got to rack up a total of nine stars so you can get a few runs of two stars a couple of runs of one star it doesn't matter as long as you add up to a total of nine stars but like i said it's really really easy to do this one i admit i didn't get three stars in three runs to get nine stars quickly it took me a couple of attempts but i was pretty close most times and it's a really really easy car to get along with to be honest and a really easy drift zone so it's actually not too difficult at all nine stars will probably come in about three minutes or so so it's a nice and easy final challenge to end on now i hope that you all enjoyed this video and i hope that it helped you out uh, if you are new to the channel and it did help you i'd very much appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like this apart from that folks i want to wish you all the best make sure you stay safe and take care out there